I was absolutely delighted to see that uh, uh, you are trying to look at all the aspects of terrorism, which is fundamental. If you don't understand the root causes of terrorism, it will be very difficult to combat it. So that this conference was uh, uh, dealing with all the aspects and uh, uh, the balance between fighting terrorism and preserving the human right and a certain number of values which you are fighting for uh, is unique and fundamental. That's why during my small intervention, I try to through the African experience of terrorism to see how in concrete cases the root causes of terrorism are also a certain number of uh, 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 bad governance, of corruption, of uh, uh, no freedom, no justice, uh, so many things which are also uh, one of the root causes of terrorism. So another issue was that we have been here during so many decades to try to have a comprehensive uh, um, uh, convention against terrorism and we are blocked by a definition, which could seem very stupid that we can't find a solution. You have tried to bring this startup to a sort of, uh, of uh, definition, I think that this will help United Nations and the rest finally to adopt a, a comprehensive uh, general convention on terrorism. Generally, everywhere we are trying to find how to fight against terrorism, neglecting the consequences of that and also the causes of that. This conference try to understand the whole point of views concerning uh, 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 the, the, the fight against terrorism. You know, when the former president of uh, OIC talk about the necessity not to insult the others, not to insult the religion of the others, uh, he, he convinced me for the first time that uh, sometimes there are misunderstandings uh, and uh, it is useful to listen to all the feelings, even if you don't share their, uh, their uh, conclusions or uh, their thesis, yes, you point, have to listen to that. Point was Absolutely. That I think that uh, taking into account many cases of the African countries and uh, my experience of some African countries, we hope that it will be successful that uh, um, biggest countries, permanent members of the Security Council, and others also understand better the various point of views and the necessity not to put everything on uh, the security, only security, and uh, with the risk of uh, uh, you know neglecting the problem of freedom of the human rights, etc. And I hope that this will help. First of all, it will help myself, so it should help everyone. I think continue like that, continue, 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 then we might succeed. If uh, there is no plurality of opinions, uh, plurality of source, sources of information, then it's over. So. It's fundamental what you're doing to bring everybody, all the opinions, you know. It's the first time I was invited through uh, some of the French uh, colleagues. They told me that 
are you, can you accept to come to this? Uh, yes. Well, and they say that the headquarters is in, uh, in Norway. I say, oh, Norway is a good country. So, <laughs> oh my, I was very impressed. It's very well, uh, very good uh, feeling about that. About what? About, about everything you, are, you organize here. Uh, first of all, the, the opening uh, uh, speech with all these statistics, you never get, you know, all these statistics everywhere. Yes, in a, in a or our president, your president, in a very short manner, fantastic. Okay.